Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use all-in-one WP backup to move a site from SiteGround to Crystal Hosting, and I'm also going to show you how to solve common problems. One common problem people have when using all-in-one backup is uploading the file on the new server, so I'm going to show you how to fix that limit. We go to Plugins, Add New, search for all-in-one migration and this is the one we're looking for here by serve mask install now activate and on the left in the menu we go to export choose our options we want to export to a file and what it's doing now is it's going to make a copy of the site you see there there's our progress bar so we know how long it's going to be roughly and there we go it's done we can press download you can see down the bottom here our files downloading and that's the export phase done and now we can log out of this site because we're finished with this one once you've done your backup you'll need to change your name server so i've added my new name servers in here press confirm and it may take a while for this to change over Next, we're going to create a new account on our new server. Press create. And once our account's created, we go into the cPanel. And then I'm going to go into WordPress Manager by Soft Oculus. We're going to go install, create a new WordPress. I'm going to create a new WordPress account, so I'm just checking my HTTPS is there and the address of the site's okay. Nothing in this directory here. Latest version of WordPress. Then I set my username and password. Then we scroll down and press install. All right, and that's it. It's ready to go, but I should allow about 24 hours for the DNS to change over. One really quick way to see if your site's transferred across is to go to hidemyass-freeproxy.com paste in the name of your website, press agree and connect. And there we can see it's changed over here, but Chrome doesn't always see it straight away. Because at the moment it's linking to the old server because Chrome hasn't updated. One way around this is go up to the settings here and go new incognito window, paste in your website here. And there we go, we can see the new site. What I need to do now is log into the WP admin Okay, so we're now in the new one. As you can see, we've got a fresh install of WordPress, nothing set up, no pages. All we're gonna do is go straight into plugins, add new. We're gonna install all in one migration like we did before. Install now. Activate. And this time, what we're gonna do, don't worry about this, if any notifications, we get to all in one migration, import. We go import from, file, go to our downloads folder. And you see we might have a slight problem here. It's saying our maximum upload is 512 meg and the file is 658. We'll press open to see what happens. Okay, so I was kind of expecting that to happen. I press close. We're gonna make a quick setting in the cPanel. So if you do have this issue, don't worry about it, easy to fix. In your cPanel, just type in PHP, select PHP version. We go to options, scroll down, and we see there post max size. We can change this, let's move that to one gig. Okay, it says it's updated successfully. Okay, so we go back to all in one migration, go to import. We now see it's changed to file size one gig. Import from file choose our WPress one, that's our backup one it created earlier. Press open and it'll take it a while for it to upload so be patient here. Okay, so you should get a message that says proceed. And what it's doing now is it's opening up the backup file and restoring it. We should have the site exactly how it was before we did the changeover. One important thing to note is 
please do not close this browser window or your import will fail. So obviously don't close your browser right now. And there we go. Your site has been imported successfully. Press finish. Go to our dashboard, log back in. And there we go. We should see that our site is exactly how it was before. I'm just going to do a few little general checks. Go to settings. Okay, so HTTPS is enabled. Check the front end of the site. And now that it's swapped over onto a Lightspeed server, I can now remove the SG optimizer. Deactivate that. And we can delete it. Delete any other plugins that we don't need, like Hello Dolly. Delete Akismet Anti Spam. So we're just having a little clean up on the site. So it's only the plugins that we really need. We're also going to update Lightspeed Cache Quiz. So we're going to be using that. And because I no longer need this, I'll deactivate it and remove it. Delete and OK. Always best to have as few plugins as possible running on your site because it just makes it a little bit quicker and it's faster to update everything. Well, that's it, guys. If you found this helpful, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.